where does this leave the BBC? Uh, severely injured, uh, probably scarred. Uh, it's true, Sophie, that this concerns events from about 25 years ago. But the fact is Martin Bashir was rehired by the BBC in 2016. And in today's media environment, the fact that these are historic events might well be overlooked. Lord Dyson's report is absolutely blistering in its attack on the integrity of Martin Bashir. It's extremely hard on Lord Hall, the former director general until recently of the BBC, saying not only that his investigation was woeful, but that the justifications given for its woefulness were completely inadequate. Uh, that is not, I mean, that is an indictment not of his integrity, but of his judgment. Uh, and fundamentally, Sophie, the BBC as an organisation is found to have will, withheld information from the public which funds it and which it was set up to serve. And I think that is an appalling betrayal of the principles on which it was founded. Now, the current Director General of the BBC has written individually to the Dukes of Cambridge and Sussex and also to Prince Charles and Earl Spencer, apologising unreservedly. But the fact is, Sophie, tonight you've got cabinet ministers, you've got uh, pretty much every front page, you've got talk radio stations, you've got the slaughterhouse of social media, you've got the future King of Britain and his brother all lined up against the BBC and for an organisation that exists on the whim of public affection and respect, that is a dreadful place for the BBC to be. Our media editor. Well, we did ask the BBC to join us, but nobody was available.